Next up is uh, the 226. Uh, this is 226-7. She's a move the needle, decisive, rusty, kiss my hawks. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, if you read the catalog, and I don't know if people actually read the stuff that we write, but uh, if you dig into the bottom of the pedigree, you're going to go all the way back to kiss my socks' sister. And uh, we had two of those here, and, man, they were neat sows. Um, it would be fun to go back uh, to some of those hogs uh, and the way they were built. Uh, Move the Needle didn't get as much press in this year's catalog, uh, but certainly had a, had a really, really good run. His first crop, uh, you know, that champion light cross at San Angelo was a Move the Needle. Uh, we had a couple pigs that were, were placing hogs at San Antonio, and, and, and again at Houston were out of Move the Needle. Uh, those pigs fed good, and uh, certainly the quite frankly influence is as popular and influential as it's ever been. So uh, this is uh, lot 225, uh, the 226 out of Move the Needle. Yeah, and to build on the move the needle deal, um, I mean, uh, that, that collared guild at Phoenix was a move the needle, and I mean, she defied um, a lot of odds there in terms of her look and, and bringing look in, in proportion with power. Um, and, and really a lot of similarities between this one's look up front and her length of body um, and just roundness of rib and punch up high. Um, very, very similar in, in, in terms of those two animals here. You know, like I mentioned in, in one of the earlier open guilt videos, um, to watch a video and say, oh man, this thing's just not comfortable enough. Well, no, this is like the third time maybe in her life she's ever seen grass. So if you're doing all that and uh, trying to get a read on, on, on movement, um, have fun because it is nowhere near accurate um, of what you're actually gonna have. Um, this thing's length of hip and running gear is actually very, very good in terms of her range of motion. She's short bodied, she's exotic up front. Um, again, I, like I said, I mean, this is the kind there that uh, you know, if she was a bovine or a big ruminant here, I mean, I don't know if they would have ever let her have a natural calf. They'd have been flushing her right away um, and having fun because this is a donor looking kind of a sow here. This one looks like she's going to make a, this one looks like she's literally going to move the needle very fastly in her sow career. I think it's pretty remarkable how, how little her head is for how broad her body 100%. is. Uh, I mean, I think she is the most unique in the sale relative to that. And, uh, you know, if she was around here, we certainly have some boars that I think would be a lot of fun uh, to mate this one too. 226-7, again, she's a move the needle, decisive, uh, and she's cataloged as lot 225.